cutters. Definitely cutter. This is the dry trim cutter. It's got the jagged blade. Scored me a little helper, a little pull toy to play with. This won't be for any of my primo stuff. All right, this is what I was really worried about. Medic definitely came with is the straight blade this is for the wet trim uh, that's what I use it's all I use I don't do any uh, dry trim here's a shift knob so definitely gonna have to fab up a B&M shifter or skull on there probably put a skull on there can't have it like that I'll show that mod here later on. Let me uh, get this out of the box and then I'll come back trying to pull this up. Doing it all with one hand, probably not a good idea. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Back here. I'll try to do this with one hand at least. So, I'm going to pull this out here. Big old heavy grid. Yep, I'm not a sucker. I don't pay for that overpriced eye power. Uh, it's just like majority of the other stuff. You're just paying for the name. I can just about guarantee you the same manufacturers put them all out. It's called private labeling. Cigar companies do it. Millions of companies do it. They build the products. Uh, Mars Hydro does it. Um, they build products for other companies and put their names on it. Um, yeah, this is straight up real socket. Nice. Like it. Got a little bit of gear head in it. So this is just gonna be a play toy. It's not gonna be any of my uh, above. Uh, above the net colas this what I wanted to do is some of the below the net little buds a lot of them are that buds um, they're not even fluffy this is your non skid pad for your huge salad bowl and that thing's big a lot bigger than I thought so design it's cool so stainless steel eggs Boom. so anyway same manufacturers this was a lot cheaper um, I got all three cutting blades uh, they threw in the deal is you get the um, their trimmers and then I think there's another set of trimmers yeah you get two I don't really care for these at all these are for somebody uh, but not me these are cool we'll use these kind of like friskers so not much to this really this goes on here so oh I gotta take it apart and, uh, look at the clearance on that blade it's real tight it's pretty nice so it just sits in there like that Then this will just sit on top like that. You gotta get the socket lined up you have to turn it for it to pop all the way down. Get it on there all the way, and you're good to go. Get it on there all the way. And you're golden. So we'll uh, I'll show this in action here soon. Um, like I said, with the little popcorn stuff, I do hand trim some of that. I hand trim everything. 
But what I want to do is focus a lot more of my time on the other buds above the net. And then I want to use this. What I was doing was just throwing them in the trim pile. Uh, quite a few of them I just throw in the trim pile. And then I would throw them in the freezer. So this will allow me to trim them up and uh, make them smokable. That's all that really matters. I don't mess with any of the other stuff. Just all flour, so it'll be less waste because now I don't have to spend as much time. I can still get them trimmed with this instead of spending a couple hours, probably six to ten hours on that lower stuff if I decided to trim all of it, which like I said, I don't. So this will knock it down into less than an hour, so it'll make it worth it. and. Can give that stuff away and it can be used as medicine now so we'll see how this goes there's been a lot of videos already on this but i'll add to them it's another one of the arsenals so here it is the bowl trimmer we'll let it beat up some nugs here soon